all of our customers are required to have insurance. So generally what you would do is you would select a rate from the three. This is a great company. It's, a, it's specifically for storage. The dryer is missing. My whole complete bedroom set is missing. Would it be legal for their employees to push an insurance policy that the company was in fact profiting from? Thousands of people use public storage to store all their stuff, but what happens when there's a burglary? Only on Five, Julie Watts found that lots of people complaining that the insurance they bought isn't worth the paper it's printed on. This is undercover video of a public storage employee making his pitch. And then we also have an insurance brochure. Insurance is required. Their option offered at the counter along with the law. Something like this would be maximum security. Deborah Ambers bought both when she rented a unit at this public storage. Two years later, a shock. I could not get in. And I had a brand spanking new door and a panel lock. The lock she purchased, gone. Her unit ransacked, many items missing. I had a washer and dryer. The dryer is missing. My whole complete bedroom set is missing. And when she submitted her claim through her orange door insurance policy? There were no signs of forcible entry into your unit. She was denied. The Better Business Bureau has received hundreds of public storage complaints this year, many about insurance. And we received complaints as far back as 2010. It was about $12,000 worth of items that were gone. Even though Anna Leone's police report said an unknown suspect forced open the master lock, her claim was also denied. Unfortunately, the claim uh, would not be accepted. So what's going on? Well, one clue may be in this class action lawsuit settled in Florida last year. It alleges the insurance offered by public storage is not actually from a separate company, but from subsidiaries of public storage itself. This lawsuit says it's public storage that runs the insurance program, sets rates and approves or denies insurance claims. And it says public storage keeps most of the profit. I was shocked. Attorney Scott Cosgrove says his clients didn't know they were buying a policy that he says was a hidden profit center for public storage. So it was this grand circle where the premium would start with public storage and end up going back to public storage. According to the lawsuit, the company's insurance program uses a fronting insurance company that transfers customers' premiums to a subsidiary of public storage in Hawaii, which then transfers most of the money back to public storage in the form of a kickback called an access fee. According to the public storage annual report, the company made $84 million from tenant insurance in 2015 alone. And we obtained this internal email from the company's CFO to its CEO stating, quote, remember, it's nice to sell locks and boxes, but the real money is made in the tenant insurance. The margins on the insurance product that was ultimately sold at public storage were in excess of 70, 80 percent and even more. In a statement, public storage notes the court found, quote, no issue about public storage not paying claims, and it denies that it pushes the Orange Door insurance product on its customers. Oh, it's a great company. It's, a, it's specifically for storage. But when we went undercover, this employee initially made it sound like Orange Door insurance was the only option. So generally what you would do is you would select a rate from the three. We showed the video to Nancy Kincaid of the California Department of Insurance. Would it be legal for their employees to push an insurance policy that the company was in fact profiting from? No, the, the law does not allow them to advise a consumer or act in a way that looks as though they are transacting insurance. And after reviewing our video? It didn't appear in what I saw that he had disclosed everything he's required to disclose. It also appeared as though he was trying to make that product look like a more attractive selection, which he's not allowed to do. And everything's just thrown in here any old kind of way. Meanwhile, Deborah has come up with new evidence. On her last visit to her unit, she found this, her missing lock. You can see where it's just cut. She hopes it's the evidence of forced entry Orange Door Insurance needs to pay her claim. On the Consumer Watch, Julie Watts, KPIX 5. And Julie says if you have homeowners or renters insurance, you're probably already covered for self-storage, and you can also shop around for standalone policy.